You ready to go to school? Yeah. Okay, here we go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, we talk about a busy morning already and I haven't even dropped the kids off at daycare yet. Uh, post cold front conditions today. We actually had a, a nice little cold front come through. It's like 40 something degrees today. We were at 60 yesterday. So 20 degree water temp uh, or 20 degree ambient air temp drop may have the fish uh, a little bit difficult to catch today, to be honest. But either way, we're going to get out there and we're going to see if we can do uh, something to catch some of these fish. Now, I do want to show you guys, uh, I got something new. You guys notice that's probably not the Xterra. That's my new Ford truck. Uh, and this is the boat I'm not fishing on today as well. Uh, if you guys have been following along on Instagram, you probably already know that uh, I got a new truck. The Xterra was not doing a good job at pulling the Sea Hunt. You can probably see in comparison of the size of that boat to the size of that SUV. Uh, it just wasn't doing a good job, you guys. It didn't have quite enough power to pull it up out of some of these uh, steeper ramps down here in coastal Georgia area. Not to mention, I couldn't stop the boat. Uh, I upgraded the brakes on the Xterra. I did everything I possibly could to hopefully slow this boat down in traffic and it just wasn't doing a good job. So uh, we were at the point, honestly, where we needed a bigger car for me anyway, so we could fit the kids and fit more of my gear as my journey continues to grow, like I talk about. So a truck was definitely in our future, started shopping around. Uh, I looked at multiple trucks and then I finally found the one. So she's a little bit dirty, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around. Let me show you guys just real quick what I got. And then we're gonna hit the road and see if we can get out here and get on some fish. All right, so here's what I got. It's a 2017 black f-150 it's got the fx4 suspension package on it 33 inch uh wheels it's got a three inch lift it's pretty much a lift level that's on it and this thing rides great it drives great and it's got ton of power uh, it's an ecoboost motor uh, this ecoboost motor does have a cold air intake and it does have a tune on it the tune is pushing over 400 pounds of torque to those rear wheels which is a lot of power that is honestly more than enough power than you need to uh to pull a boat of this size uh the tune that comes along with the truck when you first buy it is is more than enough but uh the guy who had it before me uh, kind of put a little extra of, uh, heat in the engine with uh, some turbo uh pressure increase and some timing and whatnot so she uh she absolutely flies it'll actually break the rear wheels if i stomp on it while i'm towing the boat it's it's insane but uh, the only thing I really have to do to it, honestly, at this point, is just put a set of running boards on it here. Um, that way I can uh, step out onto the running board, shimmy across and step up onto the bed of the truck, work my way to the back of the boat. You guys that fish around some of these uh, ramps that are very muddy, you already know, as soon as you step down, walk across, step up into your boat, your boat's filthy, your shoes are destroyed. So uh, I do have to get a set of running boards. And honestly, you guys, that's it. This truck needs absolutely nothing. So that's it, just wanna take a quick second and show you my truck. All this honestly is a uh, direct influence of what you guys are doing out there for social media guys like myself. Uh, so I just wanna say again, thanks for all the support out there you guys and uh, let's get out there and see if we can get on a nice bike. Got him. Are you there? Yeah, you're there. There's a lethargic redfish. <laughs> yeah. It's either. It's either a. Okay. I don't know. It's a striper. <laughs> it's a juvenile striper. So yeah, that was on the bottom. Yeah. On the bottom sitting. That's actually a good size. Uh, Striper, man, that guy's 25. Yeah. Of course, we're stuck up on a lily pad now. Well, there we go. Now she's out. Yeah, I'll leave in. Come on. So, we're on the Sea Fox today, guys. This is a brand new boat that I haven't got a chance to fish on yet. This is actually my buddy George's boat. I hate that I caught the first fish on his boat, but 
It's a beautiful fish either way. There we go. There's a nice striper. That girl right there will probably pass every bit of 20, I'm gonna say 23 inch striper. Sweet. All right, you can go baby, I promise. All right, no mystery. We are uh, back up here in brackish water. Trying to honestly just see if we can catch any kind of good quality fish today. Like I mentioned earlier in the intro, uh, we're post cold front conditions. It's very, very cold. Um, George and I are actually bundled up pretty good now. And the water is chilly. Uh, it's every bit of 48, 49 degrees out here. And we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see if we can maybe get some sort of a decent size quality bite on the boat today. These post cold front conditions can be a little bit difficult to be honest, but uh, we're gonna do everything we can to keep uh, targeting bigger fish. Um, honestly, a great way to do that is to throw bigger baits. This is a four inch diesel minnow by Z-Man. This color here happens to be the uh, bad shad. It almost looks like the mullet that are in here right now because there are still a few mullet in these back creek systems. It's got a little bit, bit of a uh, sparkle, so it will grab some attention. It's got a really nice tail kick. And when paired up with this uh, Eye Strike Texas Eye, it articulates great has lots of movement and again no leader you guys i'm really really enjoying this uh palomar not tied directly to the end of this ice strike here so uh, we're gonna keep throwing around man hopefully uh, we get us a nice good day here it is windy so if we do have a lot of wind noise in the background i do apologize I'll do my best to edit it out in post but we're gonna keep going all right there's got to be a red in this little spot man this speaks redfish to me Nice little warm mud flat. A little cove, a little pocket from the get out of the current in. Yeah? You got a trout. Or a little striper, huh? <laughs> you do, you got you do got a bass. Yeah. We're on our way, multi-species day. Nice. Got that little bass. There you go. So our strategy right now, guys, is just honestly hitting creek mouths, hitting these little entrances. Right now we have a whole bunch of little uh, creeks and canal systems all back in here on the other side of the weeds, uh, and everything's dumping out. It's obviously getting close to low tide because we're down below the uh, the surface of the grass or the uh, the grass tops, which is good because it is very very windy out here. Uh, so as this water pulls out, all the water back in these canals are dumping out and these fish are basically going to be staging on these little creek mouths and entrances waiting to get back in. So the plan is to hit them while they're staged. Uh, fishing this in reverse at high tide when all that water goes back up into those areas. Uh, you can still get out there and you can still catch fish, but you have a lot more water to deal with. So if you're wanting to really maximize your time on the water, hit these areas as the, uh, the tide's dropped out. You got another one? I think you got a you got another bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back to back. That's a good bass there. Nice. Dang man, two for two. Yeah, there's a school, huh? Yeah. Got him on old Z-Man trout signal. He's throwing a four inch bait like I am too. And I would also like to mention that is the first fish George has caught on his boat, the one before. And he went two for two real quick. So we're getting this little boat broke in pretty good. You can get it there. You can get it there, she'll get there. So what he's got here is a, uh, it's basically a flats boat, you guys. This thing is amazing. I was very, very surprised to see how stable it is. It's almost as wide as it is uh, long. It's what, a 16 foot length? It's got a, what, what, five and a half feet wide at least? She's there. She, she's she's a wide girl. And he just repowered that with a brand new 70 Yamaha. We're actually still in the break-in period. We can't quite uh, throw it up on uh, top RPMs yet. But, man, this is a great little fishing vessel. He got it for a steal of a deal. Got it uh, powered up here with a nice little Minn Kota with spot lock. Power pole in the back. Push pole right here. Uh, this boat will definitely be in a bunch of videos coming up in the future. I can guarantee you that. So, enough talking. Let's see if I can get out here and grab me a large mouth too.
big old redfish at. I'm looking for a 25 today. Oh, you are there. <laughs> I must have hit him in the head with it. It is weird. Yeah, I think this is a bass though. Um, what's the water depth here? It is a large mouth. That's a nice large mouth. All we're doing is bass fishing today. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, she's hooked. There we go. That is the first large mouth on the channel. And it's a good one. Probably like a two pounder. Maybe, maybe a three pounder. Oh, you got a scale? Yeah, let's weigh her out. One, two, yeah, three pounder. If this thing is 100% accurate. I dig it. Big old healthy bass there. Oh, I just gotta get this hook out. Yep, she's just waiting for me to let go. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We are rolling out here. One, two, three bass and a striper. And we haven't even caught any uh, saltwater fish species yet, so. So there we go. Got the redfish I tied on. No leader. Going straight piling or not. And let's see what I got down here. I got my little go bag. I keep this little bag right here. Uh, pretty much when I'm fishing on other, other buddy's boats just kind of keep a handful of different types of various baits keep my little box here full of all kinds of different stuff it's mainly i strike products because uh i am on the team so david does keep me stocked up pretty good with these things but every now and then i like to throw something a little bit different like you know if i need more weight i got a bullet here and i'll rig a traditional texas rig you know with one of these uh these chin locks here oh i got oh i gotta dig it out it's a mess in there it just gives me an option to uh, bring some things. I don't bring a lot of stuff. You guys see, I pretty much fish the same type of baits everywhere I go. I don't get caught up in that tackle chasing game of trying to have a million different types and styles of baits to catch fish. Um, the majority of things I throw are these things. The fish are pretty much on the bottom, and I'm going to throw something that will get down there to them. And that's what works for me. If you guys are uh, that type that fishes all those different types of baits, and you've got, you know, $400 worth of tackle on your bag and you drag it around with you and you're still not catching fish focus more on spot selection and and uh, type of spots you're fishing more than the lure and the bait because if the fish are there they're going to eat whatever you throw at them all right oh that's way better that should <laughs> i almost threw it all the way across like a football field I'll work this thing across and we'll see if we can get something here. Come on. That's a good one. Well, it was at first. She gave up real quick. But then again, these Falcon XG rods are good at putting the heat on. Come on up. Oh, lethargic redfish. Not a bad one. Slot fish. It's a good one there. We're not keeping them, but I'll definitely let them go. All right, pretty girl. What a gorgeous fish, man. If they would just stay this pretty at 40 inches, it would be a serious trophy fish. There you go, there's a slot red. Oh no, she's under. Pretty fish though. Yeah, that'll make a slot. That's a good one. There we go. Yeah, baby. 19 inch, 20 inch fish. That's a good fish, George. Look how pretty. Yeah, it did look smaller coming in. That's a good size fish. 
catch that fish on? Eye strike. <laughs> Go. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You got it. You got it. You did it. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. And just like that, another trip is in the books. Wasn't a, wasn't a bad day out here uh, considering post cold front conditions. We got on a nice little bite. Some nice, good size uh, largemouth, good size striper. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave that school of redfish behind us because uh, we gotta get out of here. I gotta go home and actually uh, pick up the kiddos. So as always, George, my brother, thank you so much uh, for bringing me out on the uh, Flats Fox. This boat will be on this channel uh, coming up quite a bit. I can guarantee you guys, this is a perfect little boat for getting out here back in these shallow water areas. I know a lot of you guys have been kind of mentioned in the comment section of my videos. Uh, don't leave the flats fishing. Don't leave the shallow creek fishing. Uh, you guys not going anywhere. Definitely got a good tool here. Also got something coming up for you guys here in the very near future uh, that I'll be excited to talk to you guys about. But in the meantime, thanks for the support you guys. I'll catch you next week. Take care everyone and God bless.